Have you ever wondered why? Despite your best efforts, some people just don't seem to click with you. Do you find yourself feeling isolated, misunderstood, even disliked? The answer might lie deeper than you think, hidden within the wisdom of ancient philosophy. Hey, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the fascinating world of Stoicism not just for personal growth, but for something even more crucial. Your relationships. Stoicism, you might think, is all about being emotionless and toughing things out. But here's the shocker. Understanding Stoicism can unlock the secrets to building stronger, more authentic connections with others. And believe me, we're about to expose some surprising habits that, without even realizing it, might be pushing people away. Habits so ingrained, you might not even recognize them in yourself. But fear not. This is your chance to shed light on these hidden roadblocks and transform your relationships for the better. So, buckle up, because we're about to explore seven stoic principles that might be making people hate you. Yes, hate you, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the knowledge to turn things around and cultivate genuinely positive connections. Let's dive in. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. The intersection of Stoicism and relationships. So, how exactly can a philosophy from thousands of years ago be relevant to your love life, friendships, or even your work relationships? Well. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or becoming a robot. It's about understanding what you can control, your own thoughts and actions, and what you can't, other people's perceptions, is a key. Stoic concept called amor fati, which translates to love of fate. It's not about blind acceptance of negativity, but about embracing all aspects of your life, the good, the bad, and even the people who might rub you the wrong way. By acknowledging these challenges, we build emotional resilience and prevent them from spiraling into resentment or anger. But Stoicism goes a step further. It emphasizes the importance of self-discovery by understanding your own triggers, your flaws, and even your strengths. You gain a clearer picture of who you are. And guess what? Authenticity is attractive. When you're comfortable in your own skin, it shows and it allows others to connect with the real you. So, are you ready to uncover those hidden habits that might be pushing people away? Let's start with the first big one, lack of emotional control. One, lack of emotional control. The recipe for relationship disaster. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Emotions. We all have them, but how we manage them can make or break a relationship. Stoicism teaches us the art of emotional mastery, not suppression, mind you. It's about acknowledging your feelings, but not letting them control your actions. Imagine a situation where your partner forgets an anniversary dinner. The stoic approach allows you to calmly communicate your disappointment while understanding that mistakes happen. Now, compare that to a fiery outburst, laced with accusations and insults. This uncontrolled response might be fueled by anger, but it doesn't address the root of the issue. In fact, it pushes your partner further away and creates a toxic environment. Think about it. Would you rather be around someone who throws a tantrum over a minor setback or someone who can navigate conflict with reason and respect? Uncontrolled emotions can lead to misunderstandings, hurt feelings, and ultimately a breakdown in communication. The good news is Stoicism offers practical tools to manage those emotions and build healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Stay tuned because next up, we'll explore another habit that might be sabotaging your connections. Failure to live in the present. Two, 
Failure to live in the present. Stuck on repeat with your relationship problems? We all get caught up in the past. Replaying past arguments or dwelling on old hurts. But here's the thing. The past is unchangeable. Stoicism encourages us to focus on the present moment. The only time we truly have any control over. Think of it like this. The present is this very moment. This single piece of paper. The past is a pile of crumpled up sheets. You can't unfold. And the future. Well, that's a blank sheet yet to be written. Now, imagine you're on a date but you're constantly bringing up past relationship baggage or anxiously worrying about what might happen in the future. Not exactly a recipe for a fun evening, right? You become less present, less engaged, and ultimately, less relatable. By focusing on the present moment, you can truly connect with the person in front of you. You can listen actively share genuine experiences, and create a sense of connection built on the here and now. So, ditch the baggage of the past and the anxieties of the future. The present moment is where authentic connections are formed. Coming up next, we'll tackle another surprising habit that might be pushing people away. The inability to accept what cannot be changed. Stay tuned, three. Inability to accept what cannot be changed. Amor Fati. The positivity paradox. Remember, Amor Fati. The love of fate we discussed earlier. It's not just about accepting personal setbacks. It applies to your relationships as well. Here's the thing. People change, situations evolve, and sometimes things simply don't work out. But what if you resist this reality? What if you clench your fist around the way things used to be, refusing to accept change? This resistance can manifest as negativity, bitterness, even resentment. You constantly hop on about what-ifs and should-haves, draining the joy out of any interaction. Now, imagine someone who embraces Amor Fati. They acknowledge the realities of the situation, even the unpleasant ones. They don't dwell on the past, but use it as a learning experience. This open-mindedness allows them to focus on building positive connections in the present, even if those connections look different than expected. Think about it. Wouldn't you rather be around someone who radiates positivity and acceptance, or someone who's constantly stuck in a negative loop? Amafati isn't about blind optimism. It's about finding the silver lining in any situation and fostering stronger, more resilient relationships in the process. We've just scratched the surface of these connection-killing habits. Coming up next, we'll tackle a big one. Lack of empathy towards others' struggles. Stay with us. It gets even more interesting. Four, lack of empathy towards others' struggles. The empathy gap. Stoicism isn't about being cold and emotionless. In fact, a core principle is understanding the perspectives of others. Think of it like seeing the world through someone else's eyes. Now, imagine you have a friend going through a tough time, say, a breakup. One approach is to dismiss their feelings with a simple get over it. Not exactly the epitome of empathy, right? The other approach is to truly listen, acknowledge their pain, and offer support without judgment. This is where stoic compassion comes in. By understanding that everyone faces challenges, we can cultivate genuine empathy and build stronger bonds. People crave connection, and feeling understood is a huge part of that. When you show you care about their struggles, it fosters trust and intimacy. And guess what? It makes you a more likable person overall. So, next time a friend is going through something, ditch the dismissive remarks and embrace stoic compassion. You might be surprised at how much it strengthens your relationships. Coming up, 
will expose another surprising habit that might be pushing people away. Preoccupation with impressing others. Don't go anywhere. Five, preoccupation with impressing others. The inauthenticity trap. We've all felt that pressure to impress others, to put on a facade to gain approval. But here's the thing. Stoicism teaches us the value of authenticity. It's about embracing who you truly are, flaws and all. Now, constantly trying to be someone you're not is exhausting. People can sniff out inauthenticity a mile away. It creates a disconnect, a feeling that you're not being genuine. This, in turn, breeds distrust and makes it difficult to form real connections. Think about it. Wouldn't you rather be around someone who's comfortable in their own skin, even if they're a bit quirky? Stoicism encourages you to focus on self-improvement, but for the right reasons for your own growth and fulfillment, not to impress some arbitrary standard. The truth is, people are drawn to genuineness. When you embrace your true self, you attract people who appreciate you for who you are. So, ditch the masks, ditch the need to impress, and focus on being the best version of yourself. Authenticity is always the more attractive option. We're almost there. Up next, the relationship wrecking habit you might not see coming. Envy and resentment toward others' successes Stay tuned, because this one's a doozy. Six, envy and resentment toward others' successes. The green-eyed monster strikes again. Ah, envy, the green-eyed monster that can wreak havoc on any relationship. Stoicism teaches us a powerful lesson here. Contentment, it's about appreciating what you have, focusing on your own journey and celebrating the successes of others. Imagine a friend gets a promotion you secretly wanted. The stoic approach allows you to be genuinely happy for them, knowing their hard work paid off. You focus on your own goals and celebrate their achievements, but envy? Well, that's a whole different story. It creates a toxic energy that others can pick up on. You become bitter resentful and constantly compare yourself to others. This negativity creates a barrier, pushing people away instead of drawing them closer. Remember, stoicism isn't about suppressing your desires. It's about channeling them productively. If you admire your friend's success, use it as motivation to achieve your own goals, support their journey, and watch your own unfold in turn. Let go of envy. Embrace the power of genuine happiness for others. You'll be surprised at how much more fulfilling your relationships become. In the next section, we'll explore how not taking responsibility for your actions is making people hate you. Stay tuned. Seven, not taking responsibility for your actions. The blame game, blues, stoicism, emphasizes self-examination. It's about taking a good, honest look at your words and actions and acknowledging your role in any situation. Think of it like holding a magnifying glass to yourself, spotting your flaws and areas for improvement. Now, compare that to someone who constantly blames others. They point fingers, deflect responsibility, and rarely take ownership of their mistakes. This blame game creates a toxic dynamic in relationships. People can smell a mile away when someone isn't taking accountability. It breeds distrust, resentment, and makes it difficult to move forward from conflict. Stoicism teaches us that the only thing we can truly control is ourselves by owning up to our actions, apologizing when necessary, and working to improve. We foster trust and respect in our relationships. Taking responsibility isn't about self-flagellation. It's about growth. It shows you're mature enough to learn from your mistakes and become a better person. And that, my friends, is a quality everyone appreciates. We've uncovered a lot of hidden roadblocks today. But don't worry. 
there's hope. In the next section, we'll explore how stoicism can help you transform your relationships and build a more positive, fulfilling social life. Stay tuned. Embracing growth through stoicism. All right, folks, we've unpacked a lot today. We've explored some surprising habits that, without even realizing it, might be pushing people away. But here's the good news. Stoicism isn't about finger-pointing or negativity. It's about growth. By embracing these stoic principles, you're not just making yourself a more likable person. You're building a foundation for healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Think about it. Learning to manage your emotions, living in the present, accepting what you can't control. These are all valuable life skills that benefit you and those around you. Don't see these reasons as criticisms, but as opportunities for introspection. Ancient wisdom offers a powerful roadmap for navigating the complexities of human connection. So take some time to reflect, identify areas for improvement, and watch your relationships blossom. Ready to delve deeper into stoicism and unlock the secrets to emotional well-being and fulfilling relationships? So, what are you waiting for? Embrace the power of stoicism, transform your relationships, and live a life filled with purpose and connection. Until next time, take care.